traders. I'm Roy, our coach Destroy, and I'm here with Warney. Coach of the World Dogs. And Calvin. Coach of Calvin Ata. Another massive week of fantasy coming up. Calvin, you've got some huge ins for us this well, week. Well, I call them huge, Roy. I call them uh, very significant. Oh, so huge. Yeah. Really? A couple of taggers are in here that are very interesting. Tom Carr and Kane Corns are in to do a little bit of tagging mm. this week, along with Taylor Adams, who will be very handy for my elite team. On the Sunday, though, we've got some big ins. Lewenberger, Dumont, who's a very cheap uh, midfielder. Boyd and Bontepelli. Right. But the biggest one in that everyone in Australia <laughs> is talking about... He's back. Ah, he is. Is mm. he back? Wow, that is amazing. Well, now, well I hope he's back. Really he's a rocky. Is he back, though? Yeah, of course he will be. Now, Wondog, there are some outs, outs unfortunately. Now, you say there's a couple of taggers. In, yep. there's a tagger out there in Mav Weller, he's gone. But then some rookies that a few of us will keen on this week. Byrne, Phillips, Archie, Anderson's been Achoo. in a few sides. Um, but then there's some big injuries there to Wines, uh, Mitch Wallace for me and a couple of other people. No and one else has got Wallace. Jimmy Bartell, who I believe is a big issue for you two, not me. Oh, well, it's a massive issue. <laughs> I thought it would have been a competition-wide issue, but he's only owned by like 15% mm, of the comp, good. which amazes me. But anyway, a lot of people have been tweeting me about it, so this is what I've got. Can you guys believe that 50% of people do not own Dane Swan? That there is your number one replacement. If you, for some reason, did not pick him up, there's an easy answer for you. Get him in. If you have him, which of course you should... Um, I think I like the option of Dalhouse. He's only owned yeah. by 3% of the comp. He has not dropped under 100 yeah. points in a game And yet even when this year. last week when the Hawks yep. smashed him, exactly. he was still brilliant. He kept getting it done. Um, his tackling has been elite this year. Speaking of tackling, if you want to make some money, money get on the bond. The oh. bond is averaging 10 tackles a game. If he's back this he's, week. He's named. He's averaging 119. <laughs> Get on the bond if you want to make a bit of money. So there's the answer to your Bartell problems. All right, now there have been quite a few tweets coming in. This one is not so much a question. Jackson says, Operation B Bring Back Rocky. So the Rock Wiz. Do we bring him back? Of course we do. It's yes, the Rock Wiz. This he week, is though. The GOAT, the best. No, you don't get him back no. this week, can you? When do you get him back? This is what the interesting thing is. Well, once he starts showing that he's going to do those scores that he's done in the past. Yeah. My issue with Rocky is, he's at the Gabba this week, next Good. week he's at Metricon, yep. so he'll just drive up the road, then he's at Etihad. And there's an issue with him flying. Is there, there is. There's a yeah. lung issue, dog. And yes. look, for someone who's never had a lung issue, from what I've read, when you get in an aeroplane, <laughs> like the pressure and stuff messes yeah. up your lung. He's not allowed to fly. Right. Is How long would it take him to drive it? I've done research. 18 hours. <laughs> 18 hours. Are you looking drive. that far into this? I am right into it. <laughs> At the moment, he's got a massive break even. What right. is it, about 175? 175, so it's probably... Not I think he's going to turn up. I think he'll be good, Jeez. but um, oh, he's, you can't do it this week, and you've that's coming wait. from me. And you've got to wait. Just give him a little bit of time. At least, well, you're not going to get him this week, maybe a week or two. I'm even thinking possibly the buyers would be the oh, time to get wait him. that long. Oh, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Match okay, day, boys. boys, match day. It's the quickest and easiest form of fantasy footy, and... Calvin, you're yes. kicking us off on I'm Friday night. Off. Richmond and Melbourne. And last time these teams played, Melbourne actually won. Oh, what amazing. Okay. Anyway, well, check out the top five there. Uh, Jack Watts actually top scored. I wouldn't wow. advise picking him, though. But Dustin <laughs> Martin, great pick, 115. We've also got uh, got a hands-on coaches team this week. Last time he played against Melbourne, 109. There you go. If you don't mind. All right, Saturday afternoon. It is a blockbuster. What we all love to watch oh. on Saturday afternoon on Anzac Day. Great game. And you can win 10 grand in this one too. So, pick a good side. There's the top five from last time. As you can see, sitting in there is Brent Stanton. Just oh, get out. He loves playing against Collingwood. 143, 150 last year he had in his two games. But there is the team from Pendles. He doesn't have Stanton. I don't know why. Probably because he picked all pies, but anyway, that's uh, that's where they are. So I'm picking Stan, and I'm making my captain. Simple. You're an absolute well, fool. You're not going to win the money, so no. make sure you play that one because yeah. he is no threat to you. <laughs> On Saturday night, I have got Port versus the Pies, Ooh, which is going to be yeah. another massive Port versus the Pies. Oh, they Port's in the horse, I think. It is exactly right because I'm excited that Luke Hodge is going to continue his massive form. I know. He had 134, you will see there, against them last time. And boys, he is the best player in the competition. How good is he? Absolutely. Unbelievable, beast. unstoppable. What are they going to do to him this week, though, Jerry? I, I can't see him tagging him. I don't yeah. think he'll get tagged. I think the tag will go to someone like Sam Mitchell 
Or maybe Jordan Lewis. Ooh. Oh, we can't say that. He's going to be everyone's captain this week. Um, if you want to have a look there, that's Bokey's team. He's got plenty of uh, power players. He does seem to <laughs> do that. It's very unusual that the players do So that. there's another player that you'll beat. So you'll beat Warney and you'll beat Bokey in match okay. day. All right, let's look at our trades for this week. Who wants to go first? Oh, look, I'll kick it off and I'm not overly confident about it. Oh, oh really? But I have gone Bartell to Buddy Franklin. Hey, pat on the back, Cal. Great move. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he'll be good. Sounds and how good's uh, Buddy been? Colin Jasny to Thurlow. Right. Yeah, so people will say knee-jerk reaction, chasing yeah, Thurlow's 90. He sort of is, Roy, but I think I think he's going to be used a lot by the by the Cats. Yeah, well, I'm not going to bag you out, because I'm going Colo to Thurlow, so we're both <laughs> sticking with a bit of a tazzy theme there. Um, I don't know, his ball use is oh. so good that surely they want it in his hands. You make 100 grand. You certainly do. Line, anyway, so, so Colo Thurlow for me, and that will allow me to upgrade Barlow too. I'm thinking Sloaney at the moment. He's Ooh. in good form, and he's got a good run. Barlow yeah. Sloaney, nice. Yeah. Okay. And finally, mine, I've got the Mitch Wallace issue, which means I don't have cash like you blokes with your Bartell issue, so you're lucky that you've got him. Oh, now, aren't we lucky? Uh, so I'm going to have to do a bit <laughs> of sneaky stuff there. Newton goes down to Jake Kelly, and then Wallace goes to... Canelio, which isn't a huge premium, but he's had 125, 127 the last two weeks, and I'm just going to have to back him into be all right. I just don't have enough cash. I'm going to make a rule. He cannot complain if this one backfires, because that's a bit random. He, well, he's whinging I don't the, have any cash. You're whinging about the Wallace one. Exactly. Wallace was a good pick. Usually when you trade, you try to make your team better. Well, Cornelio is going to be better than Wallace because Wallace is on That's the side of this week. That's true. Oh, well, even if he was right, playing, now, it's better. It is a huge round this week. We are playing each other in the Bacon Cup. We are, but I'm not happy about this. Oh, Why? I've heard, I've heard. Because you are the commissioner and you allowed <laughs> trades to go through for you this week that should have been it denied. Would, anyone else would have rejected them. No. Be it's honest. not my fault. Ruz thinks that Boke isn't as good as... Who did you pick up? It wasn't... Oh, yeah, I'm not even going to announce it, actually, because it <laughs> made me look a little bit bad as a Was it Isaac show. Smith for both? Yeah, Isaac Smith was good last week. Bokey, though. Okay, I'm happy hopefully I'll beat him, because this would just be... It'll be a challenge, Roy. Right? I be reckon a, a massive review. Good right. luck this week. Hope you guys don't cheat. <laughs>